that there were a, a misconception of the art representation in this region. And that people in the region, especially in the Caribbean, were dominated by European concept of art. Right? And the people knew very little of pre-Columbian art. Between 1977-1978 period, at that time, Guyanese political situation had a lot of interrelationship with the Caribbean, Latin America, and the world situation. There was upsurge in national liberation struggle, and people, the artists in Guyana, were not focusing upon the immediate situation, such as these events, right, which could have helped to accelerate the situation I felt in Guyana, as I saw in Latin America. So I focus upon these situations. Being in Latin America, I saw these big masses and huge pyramids. The method I used was similar to the, the methods in the pre-Columbian society. The cut method, but I apply this in art to the forms itself. But these are the pyramid construction forms, and I use them as a constructive method, method used in Aztec society too. When I think about this in terms of figures, I think mostly of the people in the post-Columbian people, like Rumi Yawi, a revolutionary fighter, between 1531 and 1537. These were men who stood up against the Spanish conquistadores, and then people like, for instance, contemporaries, I can say like Guevara, Castro, and even in our time, in our own country, Walter Rodney, I would want to say that Walter Rodney more so than any sculptor in this country has had a profound influence upon my thinking and the work that I've done. from observing the stone structures. And I wanted to bring out these effects, but being that we don't have the stones in Guyana, right? And it's not so easily accessible, I decided to use purple heart wood, which is a, a more dense wood. And it gives you the kind of feeling when you're working on it. The kind of feeling that you would get in this, this kind of work, you know, the kind of appearance that you would get in this work, exploration and creativity that deals with the archeological remains of pre-Columbian society in the, the Aztec city of Tenochtitlan in Mexico. I have four series of work. The first of the series is Art in the Resistance, which deals with the period, be the coming of the Europeans, the 1492-1992 period. There's a 500 years period.
The next deals with exploration and creativity, which deals with the pre-Columbian society, the archaeological remains of the pre-Columbian society. The next is the Gods at War, which deals with the events that led up to the coming of the, European, the Europeans to the New World. And the last of the series is the History of Guyanese Struggle, 1600-1992, which dealt with 400 years of Guyanese history. I intend to explore the Guyanese situation more, dealing with the cultures in the country and showing the cohesion and the affinity, the close affinity that they have to the various people who reside in this country. So therefore, I will be expanding on the, on the team, the Guyanese team, from unity to show cultural unity. And from there on, to go more into research on pre-Columbian society. I want to show art as being an instrument in the liberation struggle as it is in Latin America. Art can be used as an instrument in the liberation struggle.